morning. Welcome. Gonna make this bowl this morning. That is the plan. Good morning. How are you doing? I've been a busy little beaver this morning. It's super windy here today. And um my internal alarm clock went off at 3.30. So, one got in the hot tub, and um, then I came in and cleaned the studio, so you can see the backdrop's a little neater. Wedged some clay, so it's nice and soft. We're making this bowl today. It's happening. Tuesday. We're getting so close to Christmas and I literally have not wrapped a single present. <laughs> My office is full of Zilly. Um, boxes. I uh, must have been whining and zooiling a few months ago. So, you know, it takes forever for that stuff to show up. How's this camera angle, Andrea? Um, you're hilarious. Um, what will the final diameters be of this bowl? Um, is this the one you're making today? Is this your bowl today? Are you putting your stamp on it? If you're putting your stamp on it, then you tell me. You're going to have to get up from your workout bench. Go do some measurements. Asking for an Etsy customer, you're hilarious. The only thing I have on Etsy right now is an organic feminine cup. Because the other thing I put on Etsy found a better home. And apparently, until you have like 30 pieces on Etsy, Etsy doesn't even consider you, like in rankings, searches. So, things I've been learning, the underbelly of Etsy. All right, so right now I'm gonna flatten the type out the top out. My coffee is all the way over there. I need an assistant. I'm going to flatten the top out and um, yeah, that worked out. 
so good. Um, I was going to attempt to dry it off until I wouldn't put a big nick in it. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to flatten the top out, dry it off. this freshly wedged piece of clay on top. Mm. Fingers, toes crossed. I know some of y'all out there got really big toes that you can cross. If you do, cross them for me that this stays together. I think I was supposed to like, oh, that worked. Hey, I think it's working. Score! I was going to say, Lucas taught me this at Ogre's Home Pottery. And uh, I think I was supposed to make that bottom piece a little more conier. Is that a term? I don't know. Twelve by twelve is your current fruit bowl. That's not big enough. We have bigger baby, bigger. So I think the one that I threw the other day. Well, I know for a fact the diameter is twelve. Your your fruit bowl is twelve across and twelve high. Oh man, this is going to be a challenge. Because um, the one I made yesterday. That clay dried and shrunk down so much that it's not as dramatic as it was on the pot. Um, it's 12 by, I want to say, I think it was 7. And it looks so big. Doesn't it look so big? I can't figure out a way how to turn off notifications. Super bothersome. So I will say I did get my workout this morning wedging this clay. It's probably only like four pound pieces, but I was throwing it high and using my abs. I'm imagining you'd want it, yeah, <laughs> um, wider than hot than high. Oh wow, look at that baby. It's like it's almost centered. All right, I have to tell you, Andrea, I sold one of the flat plates, the teal one. My, my total uh, cash in hand count right now is a whopping $47, wait, yeah, $47, two pieces. That's pretty good. I nearly cried when I gave her that plate. She was so in love with it. She's giving it to her mother for Christmas. Hopefully her mother doesn't catch on to this video before it becomes given. You know, because I'm so popular and all. I am wearing my uh, one piece short sleeve short short uh, overalls today. Hopefully the buttons popping open isn't too distracting. 
Hey, Andrew, if I flash somebody. Ah, Shelly, I was just talking about you. How you contributed to my grand total. And yeah, Mama's getting a Christmas present, and hopefully she's not watching. Because that would suck if I ruined it for her, for you. Are you on your Peloton? Working your little tushy. Andrew's working out right now, too. All right. I think that's as centered as it's going to get. Are we ready to go big? It's a little chilly in here. All right. Before I start doing anything major, we got to do some coffee. Andrea, you and Michelle, you catch up. Share your workout secrets. I'll be right back. Let me play some hold music for you. Check out my little candle. She's burning a nice little lemony scent. It's very soft, non-intrusive. One and two and three. I really need to get Wi-Fi out here. I feel like my cell service is just not conducive for lives. Somebody else told me they had to stop watching the live because it kept dropping. I went to a basic training in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. I swear it's the home of black clay. Maybe it was red clay. Either way, had I known what I know now, it would have been a much more enjoyable experience. All right, going in ladies. I've got my throwing finger ready. It's centered. Going in, so satisfying, for reals. Like, that's the best part. If there was a way to make this just, could I make this into a bud vase? When I get my kiln, I think I'm gonna experiment with wasting clay. I'm just kidding, <laughs> not too much. But look how cool would that be? Like, it's just a single bud, but it's huge. That'd be awesome, right? Trying to figure out how to measure this. I know, like this, and to here, to there. I think we need to go down more. Yeah, let's go down more. All right, there she blows. Good morning, Alexa. So yeah, um, I don't know if you watched the video yesterday, Alexa, I gave it a shot with the black bowl, but the clay was way too hard. So I softened it up, which by the way, was a hot mess. There's literally black slip everywhere. Um, and, uh, Gave it a lot of wedging, aka exercised, and come on, play nice. No, we're testing the limits of the wheel pins.
before I do that, I really want to find out how deep this is. Mm. That's pretty deep. There's the start. Nicole, what in the world? Aren't you supposed to be teaching minds or something? All right, covering some, some geographical area here with the four of you. I'm making a black bowl this morning. Well, at least that's the plan. So far, we've coned up, we've coned down, we've centered. I uh, measured the depth. We're a little over an inch deep on the bottom. I'm gonna open this up just a little bit more. Here the bat is like, what are you doing? Too much pressure. And now, oh, Gabby, good morning, my love. Heather is making a big clay bowl this morning. This big clay bowl, while it right now looks like it's gonna be brown, when it comes out of the kiln, the really hot oven, it's gonna be very, very black. And what I'm doing right now is holding on to it like a tire on your bicycle. I'm trying to make sure that it's as round as it'll be. And it needs lots of water so that my hands get all slippery, like soap. You know when you put soap on your hands, it gets really, really slippery? That's what this is like. You're probably thinking, Gabby, why is she wearing gloves? Well, you see how dark this clay is? Have you ever seen Lily walk in the chocolate factory? Nicole, if she hasn't, I think she's at the age it wouldn't be too scary. Um, well, there's these little dudes in the background of that show called Oompa Loompas. And Oompa Loompa's skin is orange. And the clay See on my hands, on the glove? It stains my hands orange. Isn't that crazy? So, if I don't wear the gloves, my arms and my hands are the color of Oompa Loompas. Right now, what I'm gonna do, Gabby, is I'm gonna make sure that all the clay on the very bottom of this bowl is super hard. So I take my fingers and I push them to the center. A little itty bitty nub comes up. See how it's coming up in the center? So that's all the soft clay. That's what we'll call it. See, it's like a little mushroom. I'm gonna do it with two hands this time.
Andrea, one of my friends that's watching with us, she's giving me specific instructions on what to make this. Oh, this one looks like a pretty flower. Don't worry, the pretty, pretty flower will become something else someday. It doesn't just get thrown away. You've got a lot of clay where you live. You and mommy could go out to, there's a place just between uh, Austin and Augusta where we did a zombie run. And when I say we, I don't actually mean we. I took pictures. Um, and there is a ton of red clay out there. That could be a really fun trip for you. Honestly, Nicole. Go out there and harvest some red clay. And then you guys could make like little pinch pots and flowers and stuff. I'm going to do it one more time, Andrea, because I know you're already attached to this. Gabby, you have school today, honey? <laughs> Tons of clay, I know. All right, time to get out the car sponge, breaking out the big dogs. There it is. So I'm doing this because these gloves aren't exactly smooth. And as much as Andrea says she likes my wonky bowls, I really like to not make her want people. Really? Andrew, you're going to have to come over here and tell this bolt who's boss. Because I'm really... This is like rule number... 12 on clay. Don't ever stop the wheel. But it's not centering and I've got people watching. Oh. Mm. Grocery shopping. That public store is so nice. We live in a really nice neighborhood. If I do say so myself. Are you gonna, do, did you guys get a golf cart yet? your favorite sandwich toppings, Miss Gabriella? <gasps> what? So the area where, uh, Nicole and her family live have trails that are literally made for golf carts. It's super funny. 
and uh, if there's an episode of Pimp My Ride Golf Cart Edition, it would be happening in her neighborhood. All right, we got it centered, lady. Can we stop now? Really? Garlic pickles. That's Gabby's favorite topping. Huh, that's interesting. All right, dirty hand incoming. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it. Here it goes. My hand has become a fox. It's taking a bite of the clay. Dragging my thumb. Where'd my little sponge go? Oh, mine found it. Gabby, when you come visit, we'll come. We'll play in clay, okay? You can be my water, my water girl. Make sure everything stays wet. Right now, I'm trying to recenter it. It's exciting. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Now you are watching in bated breath to see what comes of this. Me too. My husband has like an industrial hair dryer, AKA a heat gun because it's a man tool. It's not a hair dryer. I wonder what came first, the heat gun or the hair dryer? Probably the hair dryer. Here it goes, Gabby. If you're still watching, it's coming up. Oh, please come visit. Y'all can stay in the RV. By June, Gloria's part of your barn should be a thriving independent business and I won't have to go to my regular job. <laughs> Let's get real. 
There are people that make a living on this. I'm only 9,999, what would it be? 999,953 dollars away from being a millionaire from Gloria's Pottery Barn. No, I love my job too much. And Bert would find me. Cause he secretly I'm I am his favorite. And then I wouldn't be able to say I have the best boss ever. Cause then I would be my own boss and that would be weird. And this stuff is messy. <laughs> um, yeah, I researched it and I, I could totally do that. I could be a YouTuber. She could too, with her craftiness. market for crafty on YouTube though I don't know oh my goodness I just flung black clay all the way across the room Freaking out about the bottom of this thing, Andrea. Not that a crack in a fruit roll would be that big of a deal, but still. Three dollars per thousand ad views. So right now YouTube would be into me for about a dollar fifty over the last three weeks. Now I did have one video that had seven hundred views. Seven hundred over three second views. Isn't that insane? I don't even know that there's seven hundred people like know I exist. Alright, still compressing. I'm still getting a little nub out of the center, so I didn't compress good enough. Say little baby nub. Andrea, you're the only person that would watch. You and my four other fans. There is a lady in Carson City that does naked news. Don't worry, I'm not going where you think I am on this statement. And I found her and I was thinking, what is the market for that? She's not actually, I mean, she's, you could tell that she doesn't have, well, does she have a mirror behind her? I don't know, I'll have to look it up. She's an attractive lady. And she does provide intelligent news sources. But I was just like, wow. Interesting. A 
Okay, I could do this all day. Literally just compressing the bottom. And sometimes I feel with the twins that I do do that all day. Not compress the bottom, but wipe it. Hmm. All right, we ready to go big? I think we're ready. I'm gonna quit stalling and just do it. Are you watching with bated breath, Andrea? You turn me on right now. This is yours. I think I'm gonna have to make that a rule. If I'm making for you something especial, you must watch it being built and participate And it's designed. I was up at 3.30 this morning. The wind is blowing and um, something outside was knocking around. There's more to this story, shall I? Um, we got a new cover for our hot tub and I didn't get latches for it because I thought, really, am I gonna spend an extra, like, it was $75 for latches. But, and um, so I didn't get latches, not thinking of the other reasons you would get latches, which is not just to keep the kids out, which I should probably do. Um, but the wind blows the lid open, so I was laying there at 3 30 in the morning. Listening to the wind blow, and all I could think of was the hot tub cover. So, I went and got in the hot tub. Made sure the lid didn't blow open. And then, I came and cleaned the barn a little bit. You think? <laughs> Story of my life, for real. If you could get paid for having hindsight, I would pay for it. All right, so enough about my hot tub. Um, I am leaving a little bit of clay at the top. The reason I'm leaving a little bit of clay at the top is because when I spread, when I open it up, 
you need more clay so the rim's not thin. At least that's what I hear. So instead of having even pressure all the way to the top, I'm starting to let off as I get to the top. And Andrew, I think we're top it. We're, we're gonna stop here and you're going to have a volcano face. We want 12 inches out of this. We gotta go higher. Okay, we're ready. Here she comes. I've got the hand for balance going in. There's still a lot of clay down there. Pulling in another tool. We're getting that clay up. Up and out, off the bottom, up to the sides.
like I'm holding my breath. There's still so much clay. Okay. We're gonna get aggressive. Get aggressive. Get, get aggressive. It's important to not freak out because I'm feeling like I'm gonna freak out. Don't freak out. Are you holding your breath, Andrea? You need to breathe for me. I feel like I'm not breathing. That's why talking is so important. It helps you breathe. That's why um, when you're in the military, they have you call cadence when you're running. It helps you control your breath. when the drill sergeant's yelling at you, you need to call Cadence and you're saying I can't breathe. And he's like, you're still talking, which means you're breathing. He's right. Or she. Let's not be sexist. My scariest little child here was a woman. Oh man, she was scary. I don't even know why. Maybe because internally I know that me, myself as a woman, can be scary.
you giving me a pep talk this morning? My hand's going numb. I'm trying to push this out evenly so it doesn't collapse. Any of you that are real life potters watching me do this are probably like, you're doing it wrong. One thing I've found or tried to find with pottery is that there's not really a wrong, there's just different. How big are we right now? Let's get the official Nevada in dot make it safe and connected ruler out. Yeah. You said 12 inches, Andrea? Those American inches? Hi, Dario. Good morning. Should have added the extra three pounds. Thought I could get away with it with um, six, seven.
I think I got it, Andrea. How round do you want this? That is the question. Are you really subscribing to Heather's House of Roundish Things? Because that's about what it's going to be. All right, stopping there. Starting to fall. No, don't. Yep, did too much, Clay wasn't having it. What do you think of that? <laughs> um, actually, if I let this dry some, I sort of like that shape. If I let this dry some, it will let me um, pull it a little more. But until then, thanks. Until then, I'm going to brace it. Just a little while it dries some. I, I really should go find Karsten's um, hair dryer thing. Okay, it's braced. I like the, okay, I'm gonna give it a little spin. It's got sort of a flat side to it right here. I think I like it. I think I like it. Bye, Nicole. Have a good day shopping. Okay. Do you want me to leave it in this shape? It's sort of eggy. Here, let me get the camera out. That's it. I'm adding texture to it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Some days it's a good day throwing pottery, and some days it's better. Um, yeah. Oh! Just barely missed it. Can you believe it? bowl with the light. I really need a new light. There you go. From above. And I'll come back out this afternoon and try to get it up just a little higher. Let's 
see right here. I actually really like that. Well, yay. Oh, well, thank you for watching. I love you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll send you pictures when it gets dry.